Today's video is sponsored by Omen and AMD. This is way lighter than I expected it to be. Hey guys, Kevin here. Now, if you've watched any number of my videos, you'll know that generally the channel is pretty heavily focused on console stuff. And something that comes up basically every single time I do a Q&A is, do you also play on PC? Are you planning on playing PC? Have you ever given PC a shot? And the truth of the matter is, I play on PC a lot, actually just as much as console stuff. I've never really believed in the whole argument of console versus PC master race. You have to be able to only play on one or the other. I just like going where the games are, and there are a lot of games that are completely exclusive to the PC platform, or, in my opinion, play a lot better and are more comfortable on a keyboard and mouse or PC style setup. Whether that's playing some old school style RPGs, which I'm always a huge fan of, playing RTS, which is absolutely horrible on a controller, or especially just playing any kind of first person shooter because mouse is just king. Now, growing up, I was really fortunate in that while I did have access to some of the really big, what are now retro consoles at the time, but I also did have a computer in the household and was lucky enough to have family members that were very PC literate when that wasn't quite as common at the time. And so I was able to grow up playing a lot of PC games alongside console stuff. You know, uh, when I was really young, obviously this included some kind of educational stuff. I definitely put some time into the older Reader Rabbits and Math Blaster. And as I got older, I was able to soak a lot of time in some games that were absolutely formative to me that didn't come out on console, at least not back then. Stuff like RTS games with Warcraft 2 and Starcraft, point and click titles like Monkey Island, and always one of my personal favorites as a kid that I was terrible at but always had so much fun playing was X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter because I grew up loving Star Wars and that was such an awesome game. And so growing up playing both of these at the same time, I never really developed this super heavy sense of I had to play on one thing or the other. They both had their respective strengths, they had their respective libraries, and ultimately I just really liked playing games on both of them. And when it comes to playing games on PC, well there's definitely a part of me that does like the idea of a fixed permanent desktop setup where my heart has always truly lied is with gaming laptops. I've always loved having some kind of gaming laptop because it's a lot more adaptable to how I like to play games. I don't really like the idea of having to go to one spot and stay there. I've always loved portable devices because it gives me the ability to do things like play at home on the couch or on a desk if I knew to. I can play it in between stuff I'm working on at the office. If I'm ever traveling, I can take it with me and continue to play games on the go. I just really like having the ability to have something that's very portable, that sticks with me, and lets me play games when and where I want to. So when Omen reached out to me to check out their latest new 15-inch gaming laptop, I was super excited to give it a try, and it is awesome. Let's start by taking a look at the specs. Now there are different configurations for this depending on where you buy it or how you customize it. The one I've been using makes use of an AMD Ryzen 7 4800H mobile processor with Radeon graphics. This is a really important core part of this laptop because not only is it a really powerful mobile processor that's gonna make sure that gameplay runs nice and smooth and you can also use it as a workstation, but it's also a very efficient one that's not producing a ton of heat because the last thing you want, especially in a gaming laptop, is for things to get too hot because that results in sometimes gameplay being throttled, not running as smoothly as it should. This processor in particular runs a lot cooler to make sure that's not going to happen. On a related note, something else that's really cool about the Omen 15's design, no actual pun intended there, is it makes use of what they call Omen Tempest Cooling Technology. It's got three vents on the bottom of the laptop that allow for a five-way airflow that again, makes sure that while you're playing a game and you're running the CPU hard and running the GPU hard, that they're not getting too hot and instead have a nice constant airflow to keep everything nice and cool and ensure that gameplay remains stable. Efficiency and cooling is always an important thing in any PC setup, but it's especially a big deal in laptops because of their smaller compact design, and it's just naturally something that's going to be a little tougher to fight heat on, and so it's really great that a lot of the design choices in this system is making sure that it doesn't get too hot. Pair these features with a GTX 1660 Ti to make sure that games look nice and beautiful, a terabyte SSD to make sure that load times are fast, but also has plenty of room to make sure you can install as many games as you need, and 16 gigabytes of RAM that, again, really help making sure that gameplay remains nice and smooth, allowing you to hit a nice and high frame rate, or if you just really need to have a very unhealthy number of tabs open in your browser. Which is something that I'm definitely ashamed and guilty of way too often. Now, of course, all these specs are important to make sure that the system runs well, but another key important part to all this is just the design of the laptop itself, which I am a big fan of. 
Personally, I've always been a bigger fan of more minimalist designs. I don't really like how some gaming laptops out there get really over the top with a lot of just crazy showing kind of sci-fi designs in their body. And that is not something that this system does. It has a really clean look. I love the redesigned logo on the back of it. It has this reflective blue design, which is just beautiful looking and just has the simple title Omen underneath it. Not trying to be crazy overly flashy, but looks beautiful. It's also a much lighter laptop than I anticipated it being when I was first seeing pictures of it and just kind of checking it out. Uh, it weighs just a little bit under five and a half pounds. So that's really handy in terms of it doesn't weigh things down a lot. It doesn't add a lot of heft to your backpack or side bag that you're carrying it around in. And again, because the whole point of a gaming laptop is the fact that it's portable and I want to take places all the time, that's a really nice factor. I like the keyboard layout. The keys feel really nice to use. And this particular model makes use of a four zone RGB setup for the keyboard. So you can customize what lighting it has on the left side, right side, middle, and having WSD be their own color as well. And of course, one of the most important aspects of a laptop's design is its screen. This particular model comes with a 1080p 144 hertz display, which is really the sweet spot I'm looking for in a laptop. I don't really care about getting a higher resolution one that doesn't have a higher refresh rate. Refresh rate is really the thing I care about because again, I want gameplay to look nice and smooth and being able to achieve over 60 frames per second is very, very important for that. This is something that I've actually argued a lot whenever I talk about consoles is that I always, always prefer performance over resolution. I don't care how pretty an image looks if it's not running at a high frame rate because ultimately that fluidity is what's really important for fast paced gameplay. I touched on this a little bit when I talked about the RGB keyboard, but there is also a lot about this laptop that you can customize to your personal uses. It makes use of what's called Omen Command Center, so you can not only customize the keyboard, but also customize a lot of stuff on the performance end, like being able to safely overclock the CPU or RAM. So that way, let's say you're using it often and you're in a nice cool environment, so you're not really worried about how hot the system's going to get. Well, you can overclock in order to give it even better performance. I think the biggest selling point of the Omen 15 is that for its price point, you are getting some great specs, especially that Ryzen 7 4800H, and it's just a really solid design. I really love the aesthetics of the design, especially that redone logo. It just looks super clean on the back. And again, the keyboard feels great to use. It's just a really solid all-in-one package. Again, for me, when it comes to PC gaming, I really love convenience. I just love the idea of a laptop that I can just take with me wherever I go and be able to play the games I want, even when they're big recent releases, and it's not going to totally break an overheat the system. Since getting it, I've been spending a bunch of time on it, playing some of my more recent favorite PC releases, some of which are pretty demanding, others of which are not at all. But the point is, is that no matter what I'm playing, it's still able to do all that nice and smoothly, which is ultimately really all I need. The option to play recent releases that I'm excited about and have them run nice and smooth all at the same time. And again, playing it when and where I want. So for those of you that have been watching me for a long time and are wondering whether or not I ever actually mess around with PC stuff, absolutely. There's always gonna be those games that are exclusive to PC or release first on it. And even then there are some titles that PC just feels ultimately more right to me. It's cool if they end up getting ports to other things, but PC is where I'm gonna go first. At the end of the day, I just love playing games. and I'm always gonna play them wherever they feel the most fun to me.